All right, YouTube, just making a video here about a 2021 Visago Berhean. I haven't seen one on the old interweb, so I figured I would make a quick video, kind of show some of the highlights of the frame and the spec uh, for those that are interested. Uh, the one I have here is a size medium. It is a custom painted frame, so you won't see this color on the website. Uh, Visago does offer uh, custom paint options and solid colors. I think they have seven or eight different color options. Um, uh, geometry specs, it's a 70 or 67 degree head tube, 74 degree seat tube, 60 millimeter uh, bottom bracket drop, and a 420 adjustable chain stay. Has a 44 millimeter head tube. 31.6 seat tube uh, boost uh, front and rear and uh, internal dropper post routing everything else is external so brakes and shifter if you were to have a shifter on <clears throat> get some close-ups of the frame see there the sliding rear end currently set up single speed Nice thin uh, chain stay seat stays with uh, beefier front triangle. It's uh, made in America Steel, um, local company out of Arizona. I uh, currently have 150 mil uh, dropper post on it. Um, so nice short seat tube uh, so you can run, run long dropper post. A uh, cool feature about the frame is there is a threaded external nut on the uh, water bottle boss so that way the dropper post is uninterrupted from all the way at the top until you get down to the bottom down here which allows you to run a, a real long dropper post. Um, three bottle cage mounts, two inside the triangle and then you got some bosses on the bottom side for a tool roll or a water bottle or whatever you choose to put down there. Uh, threaded bottom bracket. Uh, custom chainstay yoke. Uh, currently has a 2.6 inch tire on a 30 mil uh, in 30 millimeter internal wide rim with plenty of clearance. The non-drive side is a little bit tighter can see the clearance there. Again, 2.6 inch tire. You can see clearance uh, on the top. You can fit a finger through. On both sides. And the clearance is just as good with the uh, slider all the way forward. Uh, open air tubes on the back half, which is nice. So as you get done washing the bike, you just turn it vertical and uh, you can drain the water out. So you have your brazons here for your shift cable. Uh, cables run down the top of the top tube all the way down. And then uh, your shift cable would run right here on the outside. And then your cable would loop out and around the back to your derailleur. Um, brake side. On the dropout hardware, it's uh, set for a 160 mil rotor, which is what I have on there now. You can add spacers and go uh, 180. You could probably go all the way up to uh, 203. Plenty of clearance for rotor with a nice wide rear end. Picture on the non-drive side. Bottom bracket yoke area. Nice clean welds.
Let's see the head tube badge here. You see the uh, dropper post routing. That's a nice little uh, rubber cover for the hose. Cable routing's pretty nice. Kind of sweeps out and away from the head tube. The rear brake hose does sit close under on the bottom side. And I just put a little piece of foam right here so that way when it does bounce going down the trail, it just kind of deadens the sound. I have it set up with a 120 mil Fox 34 step cast fork with a 2.4 inch tire in the front. Normally I run a 2.4 inch tire in the rear, but I needed a tire and a pinch and a 2.6 was all the shop had available. If you have any other questions about the frame or the bike itself, let me know down in the comments below. This is the second steel hardtail I've had and uh, it rides really nice, very compliant. Definitely smoothens out the trail. I've had carbon bikes that will are super lightweight but beat you up. I've had aluminum bikes that were pretty lightweight and beat you up as well. And this steel frame rides really nice. The only other steel frame I've had is a Spot Honey Badger and the frame was about two pounds heavier. Um, it rode more compliant, but the frame itself was a little flexy, but also very comfy. This one has a good combination of lightweight and compliance. Uh, frame itself, no paint, no hardware. Uh, for a size medium, came to 2,350 grams. For those that want to know the weight, as it sits right now with the Fox 34 and carbon wheels um, and the dropper, it's about 23 pounds. Uh, aluminum bar, aluminum stem. XT cranks, a pretty heavy rear tire, dust sector 2.6. Uh, any other questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.